They both deserve the same medal. You are the most awesome woman in the world medal. In my last video, I talked about the seven main differences between a solo mum and a single mum. If you missed out on that video, you can watch it here. Now I'm going to talk about the four things that solo mums and single mums have in common because they do have some very, very big things in common. And there's a lot that they can do to support each other and to befriend each other and cheer each other on. Hi everybody, I'm TJ and I'm the solo mama to a beautiful little baby girl called Baby Star, who's currently 16 months. I had her by myself at the age of 48 using donor sperm and donor eggs and it's the best decision I ever made. So the words solo mum and single mum are often used interchangeably. But in this video, I'm gonna be very precise about the language so we can really come to see the differences between these two groups of women and really appreciate both of them. So what do I mean by these two terms, solo mum and single mum? In this video, when I say solo mum, I'm talking about someone who is a female sole parent. There is no father, they are the only parent to that child. Usually that happens when a woman decides to have a baby by herself, by her choice, using a sperm donor, commonly called a single mother by choice. That is a sole parent. The sperm donor is not involved in the raising of the child. The only person raising that child is the mother. That's a solo mum. The other situation where someone might end up as a solo mum is if the father passes away, which is a very tragic situation in which that child no longer has a father that is living. And in that case, the mother is now a sole parent. She's a solo mum. A single mum is where a child has two parents, but those parents are not in a romantic relationship. So the woman's relationship status is single. So she's a mum and she's single. In many situations, that mum is doing the vast majority of the child raising, but not always. Sometimes the parents, the two parents share the child raising equally. So the two parents are separated or divorced. They're not living together. Sometimes the father plays a tiny role. Sometimes the father plays a large role, but there are two parents. That's a single mum. Now the language can get confusing because often a solo mum who has chosen that path by herself is known as a single mother by choice or a single mum by choice, sometimes shortened to SMBC. And that's fine, that's a well-known phrase, I use that all the time. But if we're being technical when we're calling someone a single mother by choice, we're talking about a solo mum. That woman is the only parent raising that child. And it can also be confusing when a woman who's a single mum says, well, I chose to leave my relationship, I chose to divorce my husband, and I've chosen to raise my child by myself. So I'm also a single mother by choice. Yes, you chose to be single, you chose to raise your child, not in a relationship with the father. That's very empowering. You're a single mum, but you're not a solo mum because the father still exists, the father's still involved, that child still has two parents. Now, I want to be very clear that I do not think it's better to be a single mum or better to be a solo mum. They both have advantages and disadvantages and both groups of women are doing an amazing job on this planet raising children. So now that we all understand a solo mum and a single mum, I want to talk about the things that they have in common because they have a lot in common. So the first main thing that all solo mothers and all single mothers have in common is that when they're around mothers who have partners, they can feel like the odd person out. They really can. So if you're a single mother or a solo mother and you're at a mother's group where all the other mothers have husbands or boyfriends or partners helping them, you can feel really different. You can feel really like you're not understood. You can feel really like the odd person out. I've actually made another video when I first started this YouTube channel all about what it's like being the only single mother or the only solo mother in your mother's group. So if you didn't see that video, you can watch it here. But it's not just mum's groups where you can feel left out. You can feel left out at dinner parties, at picnics, <laughs> festivals, on holidays, at the beach. You'll see the father setting up the tent while the mother's watching the kids. At the father's entertaining the kids while the mum's setting up the picnic. Everywhere you go, you see these parents cooperating to raise their family. And when you're a single mother or a solo mother, it can be really, really hard to watch that and feel like, geez, I've got to do this all myself today. And that's really what we have in common as single mothers and solo mothers. I think particularly at times like Christmas or family gatherings, the person who's the single mother or the solo mother can really feel like the odd person out. They can feel really left out because everybody else is there in their couples or there's their big families with the father and the mother and you're there by yourself and you're having to do it all by yourself. And it can be really hard. It can be really, really hard. The second way in which solo mums and single mums are the same 
is that they both have a huge amount of responsibility and they both have a huge amount of stress because they have so much on their plate from all that responsibility. Yes, obviously we discussed in the previous video that in some situations a solo mum might have more responsibility, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have more stress. Both of these groups of women have a huge amount of responsibility. Both of them have a huge amount of stress. Raising a child by yourself is hard, whether there's a father in existence or not. In this day and age, being a parent is hard work. Even if you have a full-time husband, being a mother is hard work. But as a single mother or a solo mother, it's really hard work. And there's so many millions and millions of women around the world raising their children by themselves as single mothers or solo mothers. And I just want to give them all a big cheer. Let's give them all a big cheer. It's the most important work that there is to do on this planet, raising our children, raising the next generation who are hopefully gonna change this world for the better and make it a more beautiful place. And when you're doing it by yourself or primarily by yourself, it's a big, big ask. It's a big, big task. And I feel that if you're a solo mother and you meet a single mother at a party, or you're a single mother and you meet a solo mother at the party, the thing you guys are gonna be able to bond over is how much work it is, how hard it is, and what absolute freaking superstars you both are that you're doing this by yourselves. So the third thing that single mothers and solo mothers have in common is that our society is not set up to support them. We are living in a two-parent society. That's mostly how things are set up and expected to be. So there just isn't very much support available for women who are not in that situation, who are actually raising their child by themselves as a solo mum or a single mum. Schools are not set up to support single mothers and solo mothers. The whole way that childcare works is not set up to support single mothers. You know, some countries have a little bit of subsidizing and childcare support for single mothers and solo mothers, but it's usually not a huge amount. And some countries don't have that at all. We don't see stores filled with products designed to make the lives of single mothers easier. It's just not how our society thinks because the norm is to have a mother and a father who live together and raise the children. So most of what you see on television, most of the products out there, most of the services out there are designed for two parent families. So this is definitely something that single mothers and solo mothers have in common, that, that, that their situation is challenging, that they have a lot of stress, a lot of responsibility and not that much help. And the fourth and final thing that solo mothers and single mothers have in common is that they are both total, absolute superstar legends that should be supported, acknowledged, honored, and celebrated in our society. And that's the biggest thing I wanna say in my video. I know so many women who are single mothers. I know so many women who are solo mothers. They're doing the most amazing work. They are internally resourced. They are clever. They are organized. They are somehow balancing raising a child, having a career, having a life. They're doing this without much help. They're nurturing a new young person. They're doing all of this by themselves and they freaking deserve a medal. Now that is the bottom line. For all the differences that I talked about in my last video between solo mums and single mums, they both deserve the same medal. You are the most awesome woman in the world medal. I think somebody should design that medal. You're the most awesome woman in the world medal. And it should be handed out to every single mom or solo mom in the world. I would like one of those medals. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I have actually created a community filled with women like this who deserve a medal, who are on the path of motherhood towards becoming a solo mom or a single mom, or who are already solo moms and single moms. And they can all go into that community, meet each other, connect with each other, support each other. But I also share my private videos there, which are about my life as a solo mom, raising my beautiful daughter who's 16 months old by myself at the age of almost 50 and i make lots of videos about what my life is like and i'd love you to come and join us in our community you can find us at mybabydream.circle.so and i would absolutely love to hang out with you there and give you all a huge hug and hopefully give you all a medal <laughs> see you guys see you in the next video bye bye